Uh, good morning, everybody. I um, hope everybody's having a, a blessed uh, morning. Um, I normally do uh, just post my daily word, but I couldn't do that this morning. Um, it's just what I came across. I couldn't type it out. I just, I had to get on camera and do this, but it's going to be coming from the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 34, verses 8 through 10. And it reads, O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. O fear the Lord, you his saints. For those who fear him have no lack. The young lions suffer, want and hunger. But those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. And um, as I was reading it, I've read this verse before, but just never, I guess, comprehended what I was reading. But now, you know, just, I've just been kind of going through my own battle, just wondering if I was on the right track because it just seemed like just spiritual warfare had just been heavy, just hit from left and right, but just having the confirmation um, just in, in scripture. And I just tell anybody, you know, it doesn't matter what you're going through. Just keep your eyes on God. Like, you can't go wrong with that. I don't care what's going on around you. I don't care what people are saying. You got to keep focus. And just times with, you know, people, you know, with jobs and income and things like that. One thing the Lord hit me with, you know, just not only today, it's been a couple of days, but uh, I think we put so much and give our glory so much, give our job so much glory and we don't realize it's not the job that gets us by. It's not the job that supports my family. It's not the job that, you know, allows me to go out and do what I need to do to provide for my family. But it is, it is it's the Lord that gives me the strength to get up and go and do that job. This job is just a resource you know, to provide for my family. But ultimately it is it's God that provides for your family. It's not, it's not your job. It's not your job that provides for your family. And I had to learn that. And, you know, some may agree, some may disagree, but this is just what I feel deeply. And, you know, in my spirit, it's just, I spent, I spent a lot of time. And I used to just, you know, I didn't get enough hours. I didn't. How am I gonna pay this? How am I gonna pay that? And for me, like I wasn't tired of anything. It's just I got to the point I could not, you know, I wasn't faithful to the Lord, so I couldn't expect him to be faithful to me. And even in times when even when I wasn't, you know, faithful, he was still faithful to me. But it's now in this season, you know, I I seen what the Lord really does when you are faithful to him. Whether that's, you know, just Picking up your cross, like walking daily, dying to the flesh daily. And pick when I say pick up your cross, I mean not being conformed to the, the pattern of, of this world. I don't care what's going on in this world, but you gotta know. I just tell I tell myself this. Would my father in heaven be pleased? with the decision I'm making or how I'm acting. And then that, that pretty much shakes me and nips it in the bud. And if I have to ask myself is, would Jesus do this? Then I probably shouldn't be doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I just, that's just how, that's just my word for this morning. So I always say bless somebody, you know, just encourage somebody. Um, Just yeah, keep going. Like, don't take your focus off God, because I feel like when you do that, it allows. That's what the enemy wants. He wants you to take. Once you take your focus off God and you start worrying about the things that are going on around you, it's easy for you to just those negative thoughts to start pouring into your mind, and it's just it's not a good place to be in. So just keep keep your focus on God. Like you can't go wrong taking refuge in Him. Like. He provides everything that you need. I don't care what it, what's going on. There's no need to fear about how you're going to pay this, how you're going to do that. It doesn't matter. You just keep your focus on them. And um, I pray that, you, you know, everybody has a blessed and encouraged uh, Friday. And um, I'll check in with y'all later.